guys, this is Busy Blue here for another recap of Big Brother Season 19. Today I'm going to be doing Episode 9. We have the HOH competition and the um, nominations. Sorry that my voice sounds like this. We had an amazing weekend. I went to go visit my friend, which is hence why my background is a little different. I mean, we went to go see Kaylani, so I'll probably do a, a review and recap on what that was. Um, but it was really great. But let's dive into this episode. First, I want to start by saying, um, duh, I'm really confused. And I was trying to draw all types of circles and graphs and everything while this episode was going on in my mind. And it was just like, who's with who? Where are they? And where's this game going? So let's start off with this competition. It was an endurance comp where they had to try to stay on as long as possible. Um, and Elena was doing really well. I was really, really surprised at how well she was doing. Um, they were trying to make deals. Elena and Alex were um, the, the last two left really on this wall. They were standing on this wall trying to stay on it um, as long as possible as it tilted forward and backwards. Um, they were also, as Big Brother always does, they had water and stuff spraying on them during the endurance cop. Um, Ramsey's got up because he had goo on his face. The jokes write themselves. Um, um, at the end of the day, Alex won the competition. Really, really happy for her. Um, it was it just me or what did when Alex won, did it seem like everybody was already kissing her butt and we had just we had just given her the win? Like, can I get into the HOH real verse? Like it was just immediate. Um I what I did love after immediately after this um competition was Jessica talking to Alex and basically saying, um, we need to get these floaters out. I mean, we need to get the floaters together so we can make sure that we get out of the side of the house. They are going to coast Paul through this game show if they do not get him out very, very soon. Or at least weaken him by taking out some of the players that we know he have on his side. Um, I was nervous at first because I felt as if Alex just didn't see what was going on. Um, and I was afraid that she was going to make moves um, that were not going to be best for her game. Um, and when... She sat down and was talking to Cowboy Bill. Uh, I realized she does know. She understands. She gets the game. She understands it. And I got really, 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 really hyped um, as she was talking about it. Paul was giving me a lot this episode, especially in the beginning, because I felt like he was everywhere. I felt like... Um, He's talking, oh, you did such a great job. He's making sure he's talking to such and such. Oh, I just want to let you know this. I want to let you know this. I don't like Paul this season. And as someone who really, really loved him last season, it's really making me frustrated that this is who he is. And I, I don't know if it's production that's um, editing him like this or if he's changed his personality because of who. I, don't, I just don't like it. Uh, Paul could go that way, okay, with Josh. Um, I have some notes here. So, the smart thing for Alex to do is put up Jessica, no brainer. Now, is she going to go home? No. She has no allies? No. I love what Jessica said. You know, I've watched this show way too much. I understand what I need to do. She came to play. And I guess I was really, really nervous. She understood that she had to put up Jessica. And there was a gameplay about Rick and Ralph and Dominique. Now, my sister, you know, I'm with you, so I'm going to make sure that you try to get out of this as much as possible. But I don't see it for you. But, um, so I saw Dominique and Rick and Ralph being named, names being taught, um, uh, thrown around a couple of times. Elena, look into this. Look into this, Elena. What are you doing? If you have this showman swimming back, are you just mad because he... I just don't get Elena. She's trying to act like she... I really don't think she likes Dominique. And I feel like she's trying to make it seem like... Oh, I want her to be safe because she's on my side. I want to make sure that everything's going to be okay. Um, with... Um, sorry, guys. My camera died. But back uh, to what I was saying. Um, I just feel like Elena's trying to... Act like she's saving people, and she's not. She doesn't want them. Vodka eliminate. And I just didn't play it. 
with other names and stuff we're being tossed around in this episode, where is he who should not be named? I could not figure out where Josh is on... <sighs> Moving on. I really loved Kevin and Ramsey Zine. It made me so happy. I hope they keep this up. This is way more interesting than anything that they've been showing us so far. Um, so I really liked it. Ramsey's is a little boy, and you know, Mafia Do is his older man. Take him under your wing, you know, <laughs> and make him make him a better man, a stronger man. Now I felt like he was giving them just advice that you know. Old criminals do, but I guess if that's what Mafia dude is gonna give, then yeah. They had a really quick, um, sweet scene with um, Tinkerbell, um, talking about her surgeries and um, how she lives life to the fullest. Um, I genuinely think that Tinkerbell is a sweet person. Um, I kind of did feel bad for her, everything that she was going through, and hoping that. She um, really does talk this, take this in a token, and you can tell from her spirit and her energy that she sees that this um, tragedy that's happening to her um, and her intestines and her stomach maker, gastro pacemaker, is, um, really, has really given her another outlook, and um, that, I, that's exciting for me, so I, I love that scene. And then we go to Christmas. I feel bad for Christmas because she won't be able to get mobility you know, immediately after and all of the stuff she's going to have to go through. Where that stops is that she needs to think about her health and go home. Production, everybody needs to think about their health and go home. She needs to go home. And I feel bad because it puts everybody in a weird position when they're trying to nominate her or backstab or any of that stuff. It puts her in a bad position. It puts them in a bad position. And Christmas needs to take her ass home. Her and that broke up ass foot needs to go home. And I just don't like the position everybody's in. Uh, we get down to uh, nearing the end of the episode and Dominique, with her intuition, she starts to feel like, hey, you know, I feel like something's going on. Before this nomination, you know, happens, let's talk about it, Alex. What can I do? Alex just basically says, mm, I don't know how I feel about it. Um, you, you, you know, I know exactly what's going to happen. Everything's good. And Dominic's like, look, I just got to let you know. And this is what I don't like about how Dominic did it. And I'm going to try not to, you know, swear, get too loud with it. Because, you know, I love Dominic, but I got to call a spade a spade. Well, you know, this is the big brother house. So let me not say that. But what I did, like, I don't like nobody who be like, if you see the person you don't like, and they got a red hoodie on, and you just say, oh, I don't like people with red hoodies on. No, put a name to it. And she's doing all of this, and be, you know, alluding. If you got a problem with Elena, say you got a problem with Elena. What was sneaky about it, and I see where Alice is coming from, is that, dang, this girl's been coming to save you. And you throw her ass under the bus. You know what I'm saying? At least act like our friends or whatever. At the end of the day, Alex went up there. She nominated Jessica, as she should have, um, and Dominique. We're going to see how this plays out. I'm really nervous. I wish this was a better review for you guys, but again, my voice is gone. Hopefully, by my next review, it's going to be back, and I can give you all the, uh, the theatrics and traumatics. Make sure you like, comment, subscribe to my channel. Big ups to, oh, I wish I could just, I just watched the video um, as I was driving from Raleigh here. To back to Charlotte. Um, and it was an African American man. Oh, I wish I could remember his name. I'll put it down in the description. His third eye was woke. And he made me look at the game a lot. I always love one. This may sound ridiculous. But what black people love the show. Because I, I can never find anybody who loves the show like I do. But what's funny is that in his video, it was a rant video about why you shouldn't watch live feeds. Um about what's going to happen with Dominique. And he correlated it with um, Amanda and Cray and Helen. And I didn't see that first, but he was calling Helen the Dominique. I mean, Dominique the Helen. Um, and Amanda Cray clearly is Wreck-It Ralph and Elena. And he predicted 
that what's going to happen is that they're going to work to get Elena's going to be the reason and the cause for Dominic getting out. And I see it. The part with Alex's um, nomination of Dominique and how she viewed her, I don't know if Dominique ever felt like they were, her and Elena were friends. So I don't know if she feels as if she's on our side because I don't know if we're friends. If that makes sense. Um, and just like he said, I really wish I could remember his name. Um, all of this is starting to come into fruition. So I was like, I, it, that, it's amazing that game players can see stuff like that. Um, so far in advance. Um, we're going to see what else happens. Uh, it wasn't just a normal episode. It was QT. Yeah. Uh, this is Busy Blue. Like, comment, share, subscribe. And I will see you guys later.